what I do, because I don't give a fuck one or two people side with it, and them the one or two people that's rolling with me. I'm not looking at the majority. I, I told y'all from day one, the majority's not going to side with you. I'm only going to get subscribers here and there, and that's cool. I'd rather, I can say, I'd rather have 50 killers than a thousand soldiers. Yeah, so they always going to be mad. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. That's just how it is. You have to check this out. Because we're warning guys about the bad one which now has pretty much leveraged most of the world. So the type of woman that is good is pretty much slim. We're not teaching hate, we're teaching hate. Hey, what's up class? Come on in guys, come right on in, step on in, hit that like button. That's how you pay your school tuition. Keep in mind guys that over here, we don't cater to any groups, gangs, communities, or religions. We cater to the truth, we cater to common sense. And we call out bad behavior in both genders, men and women, guys. All right, guys, so we got a good one today. We got a good one today, guys. Today, guys, we're going go to to, we gonna go straight to what the instructions say, guys. We can't even play. We can't even play today because, you know what I mean, I watch and I follow both of these guys. I watch Kwame. You know what I mean? I don't watch him as much as I used to, and that's my right, and that's my opinion. And I watch O'Shea Duke Jackson. I don't watch everything he do, but every now and then I get a notification. And if the title reads something that's interesting to me, I watch it. You know what I mean? And in the event, when you're a content creator and you're making content, you don't really have time to focus and worry about anybody else. You can't really focus on what anybody else is doing. So you, you really don't get a chance to follow and really watch and become a fan of of these content creators you know what i mean even your favorite ones once you start to make content you're not watching anybody you got one track mind but what's happening guys is people is taking this internet thing so serious like because it's it's their livelihood you know what i mean and it's their job so you know what i mean of course they're gonna take it serious because that's what this is what pays the bills for them. And even if it don't pay the bills for them, this is what 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 drives them. You know what I mean? So that's the passion in them. But you can't force another man to see your vision. You know what I mean? We all have eyes, but we don't see the same things from the same point of view, from the same perspective. You know what I mean? So I'm not even going to picker it's not about a right and wrong on this one guys but what we are going to do is we're going to go to the instructions we cause this is what people fail to do people fail to just go to the instructions it was written this these things every situation you're going to face in life was written in them basic instructions so we're going to go straight to the basic instructions guys all right because in the basic instructions it says it, it 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 mentions it mentions this 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 because this is a this is a this is a situation that can get up. You know what I mean, these guys got to start to talk. Brothers got to stop pocket watching. YouTube brothers got to stop pocket watching and start linking up with brothers. You know what I mean? We supposed to be linking up with each other. We not supposed to be building our own thing then looking over our shoulders seeing how how much we got you know what i mean listen guys I, I ain't never look over on my brother plate to see how much he had if i ever looked over on my brother plate it was to see if he had enough all right guys and i want you guys to always remember that and always keep that in mind but let's see what the words say about minding your own business because that's what this come down to guys this come down to minding your own business you know what i mean let's read it one to let's see it four eleven and to aspire to live quietly and to mind your own affairs and to work with your hands as we instructed you then we got proverbs 26 17 Whoever meddles 
in a quarrel not his own is like one who takes a passing dog by the ear. You know what I mean? So it's very clear in the instructions to live right and to live righteous, live good, live a good life, get your blessings. You know what I mean? To avoid controversy. It's, it's, it's detrimental that you mind your business. You mind your business. If a brother don't mention your name, you have no reason mentioning their name. I right, guys, so I'ma just play what's going on here for those of you that may not know what's going on, you know what I mean, with the brother O'Shea and Kwame Brown. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with the video that O'Shea put out, guys. It was a big mess. When he, when he talked about it, he talked about those people in a way that we've never heard professional athletes been talked about before. And at the time, Kevin Samuels was blowing up. So was Mr. Kwame Brown. I mean, he had it cracking every day on his lives. Um, he then got into a little bit of a beef with Tommy Sotomayor. I don't think that was his fault. But now Kwame Brown is talking about um, LeBron James, right? And he's back into a little bit of a beef with Gilbert Arenas. And Kwame Brown said that the reason why the Lakers are struggling so much is because LeBron James is too focused on the stat sheets. You know, you would never see Kobe Bryant doing something like that, you know, but Gilbert Arenas came back and said about Kwame Brown that, you know, any much, you know, we know what the stats would have been like if you're playing, you were a loser. You know, you were a terrible basketball player. Um, you know, you don't, you have a lot to say about basketball, but you're trash. You've always been trash. And all you would do is be out there, you know, doing cardio because you're a professional bust and things like this. And, you know, you could say you were Boo Boo Brown and all these other things. And I, I wanted to say this about Kwame Brown. I'm not going to get into his personal career. I'm going to deal with Kwame Brown's career right here on YouTube. And he's an interesting guy and a funny guy. But you see, the, the Kwame Brown has declined quite a great deal. Now, you see, when you do these content, when you create content, you report, you know what I mean? You report on the, and you report on what's going on. You report on the news, you know what I mean? Once you start to put your spill on it, you know what I mean? You're not reporting anymore, you know what I mean? You're responding, you're reacting, you know what I mean? You got commentary, you got reaction, you got reviewing, you know what I mean? People got to start to understand what they doing. What are you, what is it that you're doing? You know what I mean? But he, you mix in a little bit of the, of the truth and then you put your spill. You mix in a little bit of what's going on and what's the facts. And then you put your spill on it. But your spill don't always be facts. Your spill be opinion. You know what I mean? And everybody have a right to an opinion, but it go back to what we just read. Why you have an opinion on this man business? You know what I mean? Uh, and Kwame Brown, in this second chance, what he thrives on, and he has the ability to do well in this business, but it seems like he doesn't take the business serious. And what you see Kwame Brown doing a lot is not really creating content, but just talking shit all the time. On and he could do that. Guys, he could do that. It's his platform. He could do whatever he want. And see, this is the problem because I used to go through this too because I never took rap serious. I mean, I was good at rapping and I good. I could write a song and do whatever, but I never took it as serious as others. So people used to really get mad at me for not taking things serious. You see how they minding my business now. And it's like it, it coming from a good place because they mean well, but you still now you, you put you you pushing yourself on me now. You pushing your ideas and your and, and, and your concepts on me. And that's sad. That's what this world is known for. That's what this world has been doing. You know what I mean? It has been having gatekeepers run people's mind. You know what I mean? Because the gatekeeper say this is what it's supposed to be. And then all of the followers, all of the followers, because remember now, the gatekeeper have the biggest influence over the people in that area. So now all the followers will go 
and listen to the gatekeeper. They don't think for themselves. They think for the gatekeeper of that group. You know what I mean? Sad. Sad behavior, guys. On his page. And with a guy that had his explosiveness, you've seen his channel deteriorate because he don't take this business serious. And what he kind of thrives on is just talking trash. Now, how can this man tell somebody else what they thrive on is wrong when you thrive on very much the same thing? You see, it's, it's, it's not right, guys. It's not right, guys. It's not right. And this is not the first time O'Shea Duke Jackson has did some old fugaziness like and this is him in my opinion this is fugazi this is fugazi yes you know what i mean yes see and a lot of these old heads they they ain't they ain't they ain't they ain't built for it they ain't built for it like that so they need to just chill you know what i mean and like i said i like o'shea i like his content you know what i mean funny and all of that but this this and this incident in my opinion he was wrong and he was reaching you know what I mean? And that he, he got to stay in his lane. You got to stay in your lane. You know what I mean? And that's that's my opinion. And it, my opinion is very, very similar and related to what the instructions say. You know what I mean, I'm going to always give you my spill because I live my I live my life by them instructions. So, you know what I mean? Let's listen to some more. O'Shea Duke Jackson. It sounded like he really had he he was he was he was, he had was banking on Kwame's potential, and because Kwame ain't used his potential the way he wanted him to use it, he's he's he, he gonna throw he gonna bash him now. Now he gonna throw his name out there. He gonna try to make money off of him, and this is what the old heads do a lot of times. You know what I mean? The old heads have a chance to 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 elevate a lot of people, right? But they, it's only when they they can make money off of you that they'll work with you, and and use you, use your clout. And I mean, and it's supposed to be one hand wash the other and both hand wash the face. But these guys, they don't help the little fish. Mm -mm. They wait till you get to be up there with them, and that's when they want to swoop in and call themselves helping you. And it's it's sad. This is bad behavior right here. And going back and forth with people that really he should not be going back and forth with. And I, and I think that- How you could tell a man who he could go back and forth the problems with. problems in Kwame Brown's professional NBA career might be what is ridiculing him in this career. And it could be just a lack of effort. And it's like, whatever you do, wherever you go, there you are. Like. And, and, and I'm a guy that likes content creators. I like guys like Kwame Brown. I like guys like Kevin Samuels. But then again, it's like, bro. See, and I, I get what O'Shea is saying here. Like I said, I get what he's saying here. You know what I mean? You kind of was rooting for Kwame, but you you still got to root for Kwame. Kwame ain't changed nothing. He came in the game, and he, stayed, he said, this is who I am, and he did what he want. You're, he's just not doing what you want him to do. And that's the problem, guys. We cannot control people. We can only control what we can control. You know what I mean? O'Shea, man, we're going to have to take you out in the back, man. You, you have a platform here. Why are you even going at LeBron? You don't need to do that. Why are you going at all these other people? You don't need to do that. You have enough talent and things you can do and enough money. Like, for example, for a guy like him. Why are you why are you going around? You don't have any like it's important to think about. Yeah. I think it's time to take O'Shea to the back. It's time to take O'Shea to the back room now. O'Shea is out of line now. He's telling me he's gonna tell a grown how can you tell a grown man? Driving around, everything you do on the streaming, thumbnails, you don't have any. Wait. Thumbnails. And, and a lot of content creators, you know, in, in the past have looked at Mr. Brown's channel and it's like, what is this guy doing? Like, I've never seen a channel decline so quickly. You see, well, hold on, let's take Mr. Duke. Let's take Mr. O'Shea Duke Jackson. Let's take him to the back of the woodshed and put the hands on him.
Mm, brother O'Shea was tough, kind of tough there, but don't do that no more, O'Shea, all right? Brother O'Shea, stay away from that. All right, guys, so let's let's get into what Kwame Brown had to say, a little bit of his response, you know what I mean? We love to hate. We love to give our weak opinions on everybody. We love to tear another person down for no reason. Even when we ain't getting nothing out of it. I'm seeing the joy and the glee of a person saying, it brings me so much joy that his numbers are down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So a man broke the internet to have 20,000, 12,000 people in the room with an iPhone 8. With an iPhone 8 showing these young boys that it don't matter about all that technical stuff. If people like you that buy into you because i said from day one it's all about who we like now he said that he said that from day one and you got to remember kwame guys uh, kwame came in the game addressing the sin kwame came in the game addressing the sin he had a problem and i mean he addressed it stephen a why you at them schools you know what I mean, so he addressed it. He had that was his biggest issue, and he was addressing the issue. Now, those who came along and jumped on his bandwagon, those guys chose to jump on his bandwagon because they liked the message. You know what I mean? Now, that's Old Testament style prophet shit right there, guys. Now, O'Shea Duke Jackson, in my opinion, he he caters to the itching ear. He's more of the New Testament. You know what I mean? People they like him because he's talk about what they want to hear. You know what I mean? He tell he talks to the people about what they want to hear. You know what I'm saying? There's a big difference. Old Testament, New Testament. Jackson. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Jackson. Uh, but my brother, I appreciate your advice. I respect your advice. Uh, but I do have a few questions. You have 200 some odd thousand subscribers. And the way that you introduce me to your 200,000 subscribers is almost identical to the way everybody else introduced me to their audience. I've never disrespected you. You spoke with me maybe two, three times now. I've never called you a punk, but then you say all I do is get online and call people a punk, who I'm going to call a punk next. Well, clearly you don't watch, sir. Uh, anybody who critiques or give their opinion of me, I really take it with a grain of salt because you're a man. <laughs> and you're a different individual than me. And so advice is free. And as long as you do it in a respectful way, I've never disrespected anyone who's respected me so you somewhat didn't do it in a disrespectful way so once again i'm not going to disrespect you so hopefully the way that you introduce me now to your audience is that hey this brother let me give him a little bit of props because now let me go back and look at everybody who tried to make him seem ins insignificant all right, and a respect to the brother Kwame for responding like that. You know what I mean? Respect to the brother, like, because Kwame is 10 steps ahead of this game right now. You got to understand, guys, there's going to be some individuals you come in contact with that they just got it. You know what I mean? And no matter what they want to do with it, that's their business. But they got it. And if they want to choose to destroy it, that's their business because they got it. You know what I mean? And then there's other ones who worked for it, and that's where they got it at. They worked hard for it. O'Shea Duke worked hard for it. He put in that work to get where he at. But you know what I mean? He didn't just have it. He had to work for it. So that's why it seems he's puzzled and he's mind boggled while a person that has it, that just has the overall it factor, could just waste it. And he, he look at it as, Kwame is wasting his it. 
but he don't know when you have it, it don't go nowhere. You know what I mean? And you know what I mean? A lot of guys in the manosphere don't have it. You know what I mean? And the guys that have it don't give a goddamn about the manosphere. But every few now and then you'll have a few that have come on in that have it and they care. You know what I mean? Like myself, guys. So um, I ain't going to hold you. I just found this to be very interesting and I needed to touch on this because this is what's going on in the YouTube streets, guys. Guys is just pocket watching and guys is standing on people's shoulders and, and, and you know what I mean? And even and guys is also rooting for people too. Or guys mean well, but they root they self right into becoming the enemy because they want to control the narrative. They want to control shit. Worse than government zaddy. I tell you, they worse than government Satan zaddy. But all right, guys, you get home safe, man. Until the next time, I check you. Remember, guys, mind your business, man. Mind your business.